Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Giselle and Anastasia. Good evening, Pa. Good evening, Pa. Good evening, Pa. Good evening, po. Good evening, Justine. Good evening, Anadu and Mark. <laughs> Excuse me. Good evening, Alison May. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> usong, usong upo ngayon. Ano ba ang mga ulam natin sa bahay-bahay? Ngayon po, habang hinihintay natin ang iba. Makikiad na lang po yung mga darating sa mga co-hosts. Oh yeah. Pag pray natin ang cruise and pension. May bisita sila mama at papa. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's start with our prayer request and uh, uh, praise report. Mm -hmm. Simula tayo kay Jazel. Giselle, let's go. Pray support. Pray request. Good evening po. Good evening. Um, pray support ko po. Nakapasa po si ate sa behind the wheel test mo po nung Monday. Wow. Praise the Lord po. <laughs> And napasa ko po lahat. Napasa ko po lahat ng classes ko. Salamat po sa lahat ng prayers. Amen. Um, Tapos sa ba lahat ng ano? Nang, uh, what they call this? Final spot. Final, final sa mga sadyante? Si, <laughs> sila Justin po ata, hindi pa po eh, yung community colleges. Oo, oh, okay. Mga LACC boys. Apo. Sige. Uh, thank you, Giselle. Uh, Apo. Kindly choose the next person. Mm. Ita Analu po. Ita Analu. Praise report and uh, prayer request. Good evening po. Good evening. Ang praise report ko po is uh, si Mark was uh, audited for was being, no not audited pero may nareceive po siyang letter sa IRS uh -huh. for his tax and I Praise God. Kasi naayos na po namin kahapon. Mm -hmm. So everything is okay na po. And uh, prayer request ko lang po. Hinihintay ko pa rin po yung schedule ng vein surgery ko po. Yeah, and to be covered by the insurance. Eh? Yes. Okay. Yun na lang po hinihintay. Yes, okay. So every week we're praying for that. Thank you, Sister Analu. Uh, next. Thank you, C C J po. C J. Like si H Evening po. H P Pro. H P. Ah, po. Pakilala ka H P Pro. Sino to? Hello, good evening H P Pro. Sino ka? Hello, H P Pro. Hello, kami po ata bago kasi. Bago kasi. Mo ang bago laptop ko yah. 
<laughs> Ayusin po namin, inaayos pa po. <laughs> Bago ang laptop, ha? <laughs> old po, yung old. <laughs> ayun, ayun. Thank, Thank you, po. Uh, Sige, Carl James. Binili po. Um, sa um, praise report po, uh, napasa na po yung documents po ni Papa. Um, prayer request po is continue to uh, pray po for Papa's uh, papers po. Sana po maging okay na po. And uh, papasalamat po ako sa kala Tito Aldrin po at kala Tita Analo sa, um, sa uh, pakain po nila. Mm-hmm. Po. Thank you po. So, may pakain, hindi kami inimbita. <laughs> All right. uh, spontaneous, spontaneous po. Spontaneous. Uh, <laughs> And ano po yung nag... Like, Ah, uh, sakto po kasi si social chip ni Kuya Sai. So, oh, nga eh. Kasama po uh, po na um, oh, eh. Yeah, sige si JC na next. Si uh, Alison po. Alison May. Hello po, good evening po. Good evening. My praise report po is nadala ko na po yung car ko para mapa-check and get the uh, quote po, dun sa bangga ako. And then... Ano? Bangga? Ay, sorry. <laughs> Apo, um, accidentally po na bangga nung one gate. of the teachers. Kasi di manual po yung gate. Hindi daw po ako nakita. And then nabangga po nila yung bandang door ko. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then nakuha ko na po yung quote. So, I'm praying po na everything will go smoothly. Kasi parang ilang, parang mag one month na po akong naghihintay mm-hmm. for them to update me. Pero hindi po nila ako ina-approach. Kahit na ina-approach ko na po sila ng ilang beses. Mm-hmm. So, I'm praying that no, nagpa-point po ako for Tuesday and then um, I'm praying that after that request, everything will go smoothly and then they would cooperate with me without any excuses po. So, yun yung, yun na din po yung prayer request ko po. Amen. So, praise report po is nakuha ko na po yung quote and then na-approvehan na po yung pag-request ko ng appointment to talk with them and then prayer request ko na lang po is na sana makipag-cooperate po sila and that they will use the school's insurance and not turn the tables around. Ganun po. Okay, so sulat natin ah. Uh... Ang iyong prayer request ay uh, uh, Alison na maging smooth po yung meeting po namin next week sa Tuesday. Smooth meeting with the school? School ba yun insurance? Apa. School's insurance. School po and the insurance po nila. Ah, sige. Thank you. Na maging willing po silang mag-cover. Thank you. Thank you, Alison. Sige Thank na. Masulat ko na siya. Alright. Alison, sino next? Um, Anastasia Family. Anastasia Family. Um, um, malayong malayo ko sa kanila eh. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening po. Good evening. Uh, praise report po namin is uh, thankful po kami and blessed dahil uh, nag- Monday nung Monday nag-celebrate si Cyrus dito at the same time nanood ng basketball po. Kay talo. <laughs> Kay talo po at least si Cyrus nakapasa po. So six uh, na siya. And nagkaroon po ng konting fellowship din po. So thankful po kami sa mga uh, Bisita po namin ng Monday, sila ano, sila sige po. And ano po, uh, prayer request po namin, Pastor, is uh, patuloy na pakaingatan po kami sa pagpasok sa work. Lahat po tayo sa pagpasok sa work, sa school, at yung paiba-ibang weather po na hindi po magkasakit. Yeah. Yun po, yeah. good health po. We're experiencing yeah. June gloom. No? Yeah. Opo. Oh, Uh, spring springtime pero minsan, nag-gloomy. 
So totoo ba na ano, nagpalit ng pangalan si Cyrus Roman? Jake Jake Cyrus Roman. Jake Cyrus Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Amerikano na eh. <laughs> Sabi dito ni Jessel, "Oh, say can you see? Eh, kita mo. Good evening po. Makikinig lang po kami. Masama po din ang pakiramdam namin. Nagsusuog po kami dito sa bahay. Ano 'yung nagsusuog? Nagaano 'yung nag na uh, uh, sa ano? Parang sa big space para ba 'yan? Nagpapausok, Pastor. Papausok. Oh. Steaming. 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 Yeah. Parang, oh, yeah. Oo. Oh, ah, sige, pagaling kayo dyan, Faith. Oh. So, next, Sister Jasmine. Si Justin po. Justin, kao na. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, my uh, my praise report is um uh, is also my prayer request. Uh, my my grandpa's surgery is uh tomorrow, mm-hmm. and we've been waiting for that. But uh, uh, that's also my prayer request that it would go successfully. Uh, and also my finals at school. That's another prayer request. Malapit. Uh, patapos na, no? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesse. Next. Um, uh, Tito Manny. Tito Manny. Hello. Yeah. Magandang gabi po. We want to thank God for His uh, goodness. Uh, one semester na po is almost over for Nicole for her nursing program. Ganon din po kay Janelle. She's now working. Si Janelle, start na po siyang mag-work. And <laughs> yun, we just want to thank God for all His mighty, mighty provisions for every one of us po. Pag-iingat niya each day. And above all the peace and the joy that God pours into our hearts. So, lang po. Saan po nag-work si, si ano? Janel? Si Nicole, ay si Janel ah, po sa Menchis po sa Valencia. Ano ngayon? Po, town ah, center? Oh. Sa Menchis po po sir, four hours lang naman. Oh, Pero, abang ko siya doon makakain para may libre. Parang yogurt lang. Ay, oh, yogurt yun eh. Oh. Si, wow. si, ano, si Nicole saan nag-work? Ah, si Nicole po, full-time po siya. Pero so, baka po by next semester, she's planning to, or ngayong bakasyon, baka mm-hmm. mag-work siya, bakasyon naman. So, matatapos na po yung isang sem ng nursing program niya. Praise God. Tatlong, tatlong semesters na lang. Amen. May nurse na naman tayo. Alright, sabi dito ni uh, Tita Faith, uh, praise report, citizenship ni Cyrus na nagdagdag nga ng pangalan hindi na siya Cyrus lang Jake Cyrus na kasi Amerikanan eh <laughs> saka ang prayer request nila ay complete healing para sa kanilang tatlo kay Tita Peps kay Stephen at saka kay uh, Sister Faith alright so madaming may sakit ngayon ano? kasi yung weather iba-iba actually last week no, nagkasakit ako Monday, Tuesday Ay, you know, baby and uh, Wednesday pero surprisingly kinakabahan na ako nun sabi ko naku paano to pagdating ng linggo hindi pa ako okay pag uh, ang, ang problema eh pag hindi pa ako okay nito kako eh sino magpiprit sa Sunday pero surprisingly Thursday gumal- bigla akong parang walang naramdaman <laughs> so thankful ako sa Lord mayroon kasi magkasakit eh Ah, madami kang ano na napepending na trabaho. Anyway, Justin, are you uh ano, are you ready for your tonight? Okay ka ba? I do you know na ikaw ang uh, ating uh, devotional leader? Oh yeah. Uh do I send the verse? Ah, uh, go ahead. Tell the verse and then uh okay. I'll, I'll look I'll look, I'll look it up. Uh the verse I picked was um Second Peter 
1, chapter, uh, verse 19. Second Peter 1, verse 19. Let's look. Sige. Uh, teka, uh, mag, mag good evening muna tayo kay Pastor Bert and Sister LV. Good evening po. Good evening po. Opo, meron po ba kayo, Pastor, na ano na praise support or prayer request? Prayer request, uh, Sister LV po. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ay, Hindi maganda yung pagkiramdam niya. Nako. Kasi kag- kagabi, parang umambun na ta o umuulan kagabi ng ma- na bas- na, ano nata siya, nabasa. Mm-hmm. So, nakaiga po siya ngayon at uh, uh, ano ito? na nirefleksyon ng konti yung mga paa niya tsaka nilagyan ng bix hoping mag ano, uh, mag-walk yung mga para mag ano yung katawan niya o minute yung si parang nalalamigan siya o ano uh, nilamigan siya nalamigan siya kagabi siguro mm. <coughs> oh, excuse me puso talaga ang sakit niya yung grabe yeah sige sama natin si sister LV sa ating uh, prayer request so sandali lang po Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead, Justin. Let's start. Uh, start with the prayer first. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time to pray uh, to you, Lord, to bring these requests to you. Uh, Lord, uh, I pray that uh, your word will minister to us. Uh, I ask that you would soften our hearts, that we would be open to receiving uh, whatever you want us to receive, Lord. Uh, may we just focus on you and you alone. We praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, so Second Peter chapter 1, verse 19 says, we also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it, as to a light shining in a dark place, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. And uh, so uh, we know that stories have a beginning, middle, and end, and God's story is no exception. Right now, we're living in the middle chapters where there's still sickness, pain, and death. Um, but the Bible, uh, we can rejoice because the Bible promises us a good ending, that Jesus will return, and the final form of God's kingdom will be established as we wait upon the Lord in anticipation of the fulfillment of these promises. We can use God's word as our guide for the present. So I think uh, reading this verse is timely because uh, I'm reminded of all the, uh, we see all the sickness. Uh, and for me, this verse, um, uh, this idea that we know what will happen in the future because uh, God told us in his word. For me, it gives me comfort. It says in Revelation chapter 21 that there will be a new heaven and a new earth. In verse 4 to 5, God says, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. And uh, this gives me hope because even though we face and will continue to face trials and suffering, uh, I can rest assured that those things will eventually come to an end. They won't be forever. God will win in the end. So my question for today is that knowing God's story, knowing how God's story will end with Jesus being the final victor, how does that affect the way you live today?
Again, Justin, uh, can you uh, repeat the question and kindly write it down sa ating uh, group chat? Uh, the question is, knowing how God's story will end with Jesus being the victor, how does that affect the way you live today? Mm -hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> so, well, Jason is typing sa ating group chat. Yung question for tonight. Good evening, Tita Fe. Tita Fe Dumuk. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. And connecting pa si Tita Fe. Anyway, uh, gusto ko lang dun sa text, uh, ano eh, uh, yung last part, Justin, uh, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts, no? after all the struggles, all the pains in the world, yung interpretation ko, merong morning star. And si Jesus yun eh, no? he's also called the morning star that will rise in our hearts. No? Kung baga, meron siyang, pero lagi tayong hope, di ba? And that is a good question actually yung uh, uh, tinatanong ni Justin ano sabi niya dito uh, knowing how God's story will end no? alam naman natin that the Lord will prevail already prevailed actually uh, with Jesus as the victor how does that affect the way you live today do you live in fear do you live in hopelessness do you live in a, a stage of uh, full of hope and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, who wants to answer first? Uh, good evening, Joshua Napogi. Good evening, Tita Fe. So, let's uh, call on... Uh, let's start with the Dangawins. Ayan. The Dangawins. Kuya Mani and uh, Sister Janet. Uh, ang tanong niya, eh, knowing how God's story will end. With Jesus as the victor, how does that affect the way you live today? So ano yung perspective natin sa buhay natin ngayon? Paano naapektuhan dito na alam naman natin na panalo na? Sabi nga sa kanta ni John Boogs, panalo na. Diba? So uh, paano natin pinamuhay yung buhay natin ngayon? Yan. Sige, go ahead po si Sir Janet Kuya Mani. Amen. So how does it affect us? Apo. So knowing we are victorious in Christ, we have to live mm. in connected in connection with Him each and every day. Mm. We have to keep the faith. Kumbaga, we have to encourage ourselves because sometimes may mga difficulties, may mga discouragement. We have to uh, to hold on to God's promises, knowing that in Him we are more than conquerors. He is the beginning and the end. There is nothing too hard for Him and there is nothing impossible for Him. Kaya tulig lang po ang laban kay Kristo. Lang po, Pastor. Maraming pong salamat. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Kuya Mani. About... Copy-paste. Copy-paste. At <laughs> 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 saka lalo na dun sa ano, no, yung pinagdaanan din ni, ni ate. Yeah. Di ba? Uh, ako, ano eh, mataas yung respeto ko sa kanya with all the physical pain and at the same time yung emotional battle ups and down di ba yung mental fatigue diba? pero never ko siyang nakitaan na pinanghinaan no? and i always see her encouraging people instead of she being encouraged by other people no so kumbaga uh, uh, parang she talagang she saw yung yung yung, uh, yung journey na yon na alam niya panalo si Kristo no? so it's a great encouragement for us so thank you mga dangawen sino ang gusto niyong susunod uh, si Sister Ana po <laughs> Sister Ana Lu okay uh, knowing how God's story will end with Jesus as Victor, how does that affect the way you live today? Uh, we all know that God is uh, victorious and um, he promises us, um, he, God promises us uh, uh, that uh, eternal life 
and uh, the victory uh, if we cling on to him. So with, with that promise, uh, with everyday challenges that we face, I, I know, I experience, it's hard, but I, I pray and uh, I try to find peace in God's promises that he will turn things around in his perfect time. It's not sudden, it's not something fast, but in God's perfect time, things will fall into place for our um for our good uh yun lang po ang sa akin amen and uh naalala ko lang no you guys are two of the many uh uh ano natin mga members natin who share their stories no faith stories last na resurrection sunday a story ni Sister Janet and a story ni Mark, no? But actually, it's not just story ni Mark, you know? It's a story of the entire family, you know? And with all what uh, what transpired, ng mga nangyari and everything, uh, kumbaga, you, you, uh, we all saw victory, you know? Not, not, we, we, kumbaga, not as victims, but as victors, you know? And uh, it was so inspiring and... Uh, Kumbaga, that is enough preaching for that day. No? So, madami talagang na-bless. Right? So, thank you, Sister Annelou. Who's next? Um, Next on my screen po is uh, si Teacher Giselle. Teacher Giselle. Evening, Teacher Giselle. Uh, um, for me po, I shall live by faith in the word of God mm -hmm. and not by sight. Um, we are to live by faith in his word and not because ano, of our feelings, experiences, or emotions that may be ano, induced by the world around us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Giselle. Next, Sir Giselle. Sino gusto mo? Si... Jasmine po. Jasmine? Sina? Si, si Jasmine? Si Tita Jas po. Ang dinig ko, Tita, Tita Jas. Tita Jas po. Ang dinig ko, Tita Justin. <laughs> Jasmine. 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 Jasmine po yata. <laughs> Jasmine, ikaw na. <laughs> Mali yung dinig ko. <laughs> Jasmine, ikaw na. Ako daw po yung representative po. Yun. Okay, so, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> yung sa amin po, ano po, similar din nung kay, ano, kay Ate Faith. Na, ano po, it gives us um, parang assurance po na um, and hope that uh, in the end, Jesus will be the victor. Siya po yung ating... Um, groom at tayo po the church will be the bride so mm -hmm. we it gives us hope to endure yung mga hardships dito sa earth and to push through sa mga ministry na pinapagawa po sa atin ni Lord mm -hmm. and also um yun yung positive side pero there's a negative side na, na affect uh, ako po personally kasi mm -hmm. I always think of ano eh, of uh, mga friends and relatives na hindi pa safe Mm -hmm. So I still continue to pray for them. I try to invite them. Pero uh, there's a part of me na worried, especially for my brother na ano na nag backslide. So I'm, I'm still praying for him. I'm trying to reach, to reach out, and um, mm -hmm. I still believe na someday he uh, babalik siya kay Christ, and uh, pati po family niya ay ma masisave din po. So Amen. yun po. Amen. Amen. I agree. Thank you, Brother Aldrin. Uh, next, Brother Aldrin. Um, si, ano po? CJ. CJ. Go, go, go. Good evening po. So, Good. sa akin po is, um, nabanggit na rin po nila, pero uh, sa akin po is, siguro sa akin life, I think, uh, para sa akin, yung, I think yung three basic things na ginagawa ko is uh, to have faith, hope, 
and trust um, in the Lord po. Just, mm-hmm. And then uh, I love the way na nagka-connect um they're connected to each other like without faith there's no hope, without hope there's no trust. And um I think yung some every struggles po sa ating buhay um alam malal alam po natin na malalampasan po natin yun na um, for not for nothing is impossible with God and then sa aking life po um if um dumarating po yung time na sa matinding pagsubok I always remember po yung Psalms eighteen eighteen verse two which is the Lord is my rock my fortress and my deliverer mm-hmm. my God is my rock in whom I take refuge my shield in the horn of my salvation and my stronghold I, um and one of the Bible verses na nagpapalakas sa akin na and always a constant reminder na in every struggle uh, nandiyan si Lord na kaagapay mo sa mga problema and alam po natin na malalagpasan po natin ng kahit anong hamon ko sa buhay basta dyan kasama po natin kas, dahil kasama po natin si, ang natin Diyos so yun lang po Amen Amen that was nice CJ ganda alright next uh, bago ka tumawag CJ, basahin ko lang yung ano, uh, shinair ni uh, Sister Faith. Uh, so sabi niya dito, uh, take away niya daw. Knowing that Jesus will come back and that He is victorious, give me hope, especially when there are trials and challenges. Kasi temporary lang yung suffering and uh, He is our great reward. So it helps me to endure and persevere kapag nadidiscourage or na panghihinaan ng loob. Ah, ganda naman. Pero come to think of it, no? uh, ilang taon ba tayo pwede mabuhay dito sa mundo? Sabi mong makomplete mo yung sabi sa Bible na 120 years. So what is 120 years sa eternity? No? Ni walangan tuldok yun. No? Uh, tapos sa uh, maikling panahon ng 120 years na uh, nilagi mo sa mundo at naka-experience ka ng suffering. No? Sabi ni James kasi, consider it pure joy, no, my brethren, if you're experiencing suffering. Kasi uh, sandali mo lang yun. Tama si Faith. Sandali mo lang matitikman yan. Eh, nakalaan ka for eternity na masaya, no pain, no tears, no walang suffering, walang struggle. So, somehow, eh, since sa uh, matagal tagal 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 na hindi mo na matitikman yung suffering eh enjoyin mo na yung suffering ngayon at uh, at uh, uh, hindi naman dahil sa ikaw ay uh, masokista pero ang ibig ko sabihin allow the suffering na maging a uh, point of uh, ano uh, learning experience natin para mas ikatitibay natin kagaya nga na sinabi rin ni James or ni Santiago all right, CJ, sinong next? Si Alison pa. Alison May. Go, go, go. Okay, okay po. Ang um, akin okay po is... Can I use it? Yeah, you can use it. So for me po... I think for this question, this is a good reminder that in our helpless situations, we should not let that affect us. Mm-hmm. Because if we know that the king that we serve is victorious, therefore we are also victorious. Amen. He didn't treat us as his servants, but as his children. Therefore, mm-hmm. we are also victorious in, in his presence. So, yun po. Amen. Yun, din po ng lahat na we shouldn't worry if we already know the ending will be God's victory. Mm-hmm. It's like watching Manny Pacquiao's ano, boxing match na replay na alam mo nang tinalo niya na yung kalaban. Parang ganun. So may assurance ka na. So be excited actually. Yeah. So be victorious sabi ni Alison kasi victorious yung Father in Heaven. Amen. Thank you, Alison. Sino ang next? Who's next? No. Um, Joshua po. Joshua. Good evening, Joshua na Pogi. Ang katanungan sa umag sa gabi nito, eh, alam mo na na si Jesus ay magiging, uh, si Jesus ay victorious sa buhay natin. So habang naghihintay tayo sa eternity, sa eternal life, sa reign ni Jesus, 
No, uh, paano pinamumuhay mo yung buhay mo ngayon? No, paano mo siya uh, pinamumuhay bilang Kristiyano? Uh, pamumuhay ko po ay ano. Punong-puno ka ba ng pag-asa sa puso o pinanghinaan ka ba ng loob? Ang um, pamumuhay ko po ay tadaan ko sa pagkipray ka Lord na mm-hmm. lahat ng bagay at pamamaraan ng pamumuhay na sana'y number one na laging ligtas at uh, huwag mm-hmm. magkakit. Ayun po. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, ako... Laging dinatala si Jesus sa kahit saan magpunta po. Mm-hmm. Ako, 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 ano no, uh, hanga ako dun sa perspektibo mo na uh, umbaga, wala naman na uh, kasiguraduhan na may makukuha ka ng pera kinabukasan. Pero noong dati sumweldo ka, you opted na uh, issue yung sweldo mo at uh, bumili ka ng... Uh, Ano yung binili mo? Red, red ribbon ba yun? Masarap yun. Yung empanada. No? Uh, I mean, most of us here, eh, mimit lang kita sandali dyan sa, kasi nag-feedback. Most of us here, meron tayong kasiguraduhan na may sisuelduhin tayo bukas. Pero sa sitwasyon ni Josh, uh, wala namang certainty na may sweldo siya bukas. No, pero there was a time na sumeldo siya, bagong sweldo siya. Tapos bumili siya ng uh, empanada, yung red ribbon para no Mother's Day, no. At sa namigay siya ng mga regalo. Nakita ko no. So sabi ko, uh, yung generosity ng puso nitong bata nito na to maganda. And that only reflects no yung kanyang pananaw doon sa victory ni Jesus. He refused to be a victim. But uh, he stands to be a victor, no, um, a victor in Christ. All right. Thank you, Josh. Okay, we still have uh, Pastor Bert and Sister Fe, the principal. Unahin na natin siguro si Tita Fe. Tita Fe, are you uh, available? Tita Fe Dumuk? Knowing that Jesus will be coming again and that mm-hmm. he will give us, we are sure of our eternal life with him. Amen. It is more than enough to encourage us whenever there's something in our life, a situation mm-hmm. is challenging. We know that God is always with us. He has promised that he will be with us no matter what circumstances we are in. Mm-hmm. And He, being our victor, will always make us also a victor over our circumstances. And we praise the Lord because He is faithful. And no matter what happens in our lives, nandoon siya. He said, I am your God. I will be with you. And He will, he will be available at any time for any trouble or for any need we have. Mm-hmm. He is a faithful God. Mm-hmm. And so he is our 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 shield, our everything. So there's nothing for us to worry mm-hmm. because we are in the Lord. Amen. He is our security. Amen. Amen. Tita, I was reminded of your story that you told me during the World War II with General Santos, mm-hmm. you know, marching from one place to, to another Uh, you being uh, uh, chased by the Japanese Imperial Army and then seeing babies being violated na alam niyo yun, uh, these th- those are horrific stories no but mm-hmm. uh, uh, during those times Christians Christian na kay tita di ba kasi you were born sa Christian yeah. family so mm-hmm. ha- nung, nung na experience po yun yung inahabol kayo ng mga hapon tapos Uh, nakakita niyo yung mga bata, baby, binabayoneta, no? ano yun, mga babae, nire-ray, and everything. So, uh, how, how, what is your perspective about God during that time? Uh, 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 na, na, naisip niyo ba na, teka, iniwan ba kami ng Diyos for three years? Oh, 
it did not affect me at all because mm -hmm. first of all, uh, parang I did not know any problem in life kasi mga bata pa kami noon. Mm -hmm. how, old, how old were you, tita, noon time na yun? Siguro nine. Nine years old. Mm -hmm. Nine years old. Mm -hmm. At uh, uh, alam kong wa wala sa amin yung hindi masyado kami na affectuhan, Pastor. But when I grew a little older, I realized that God is really faithful, that He is our protector and He is our supplier, our provider for whatever need we have. And we could have died. Yes. And mm -hmm. and and the fathers of the family were made to kneel mm -hmm. uh, on tables on the street mm -hmm. from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m., the hottest part of the day. Mm -hmm. And they were, just imagine with with open arms, you know, they were stretching their arms sidewise, kneeling on tables from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That was terrible, terrible. And they would open the the abdomen of expectant mothers and then um, prick, pierce the mm. ba baby with the, the, the end of their bayonet, toss the baby, and then catch it with a bayonet. Oh, and in some in some canned foods, because food was scarce while uh, the the evacuees were on the on the streets traveling. Mm -hmm. When the the cans were opened, uh, they would find uh, young knuckles, ng mm -hmm. elbows, ng knees, mm -hmm. uh, canned food, sila, mm -hmm. and parts of the body of a human being. Oh my goodness. They were very cruel. Because mm -hmm. uh, during those times, it's easier for, you know, for a person uh, to just break down and at uh, my internalize in a victim ako, victim ako, victim ako. But yes. people who has a, uh, may, 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 may Christo sa puso mm -hmm. always have, will always have hope no na na kagaya nga ng plano ng Panginoon to give us a hope and a future. Thank you Tita Fe, that was a nice story. Thank you. Good Pastor. evening, good evening, good evening Tita Rose. Uh good evening sa iyo. Good evening po, pasensya na po, late po. May ah, okay lang. po. Makakapagsalita kayo mamaya? Ah, uh, apa, wala, hindi pa ako nakapasok eh. Ah, pero sige. nasa labas po ako, sama po parents ko. Ah, sige po, opo. Ah, okay po. Kamusta po sila kanyo ha? At uh, work, uh, work. Po. Bukas, bukas na po yung surgery ni Dad. Yeah. Eh, na-move po, na-move. Na-move. Uh, at uh, we're praying for them. So, uh, knowing, sabi dito uh, ni Tita Pepot, knowing that Jesus will be coming again, we should always be prepared and be faithful to Him. Because life is too short and we should always be prepared, sabi ni Tita Pepot. All right, thank you, Tita Peps. Uh, all right, let's go to Pastor Bert. Pastor Bert. Ano ang iyong masasabi? Praise God. Yung verse na binasa ni, ni Justin, no? Apo. Na sabi dito, we also have the pro, anito, uh, prophetic prophetic word no strongly confirmed by the prophet yung word and you will do well to pay attention to it so dito ay uh, uh binibigyan yang emphasis yung salita no the word amen and which you must give uh uh pay attention to it sabi niya mm -hmm. na bigyan mo na talaga ng hulaga yung salita ng panginoon i believe dito na we know that uh, the morning stars have near it will rise in your hearts. Uh, and it says that the, the word, as if it's a light, no? It's okay. shining in the dark. So okay. dito ay masasabi natin yung word ay binibigyan ng emphasis ang kahalaga niya. Amen. Kaya sabi dito, you must pay attention to it. I believe na all of us uh, are facing a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. I myself, every day, but sometimes even though you have a peer in the Lord, uh uh minsan you are being rattled, no? Kapag dumarating, minsan dalawa, tatlo, o apat na problema. 
at wala kang mahugot. And we know that we have already a, victor, a victorious God who won the battle already. But in everyday life natin, there is that uh, you have to be strong. And yun nga, uh, your very anchor of your faith is uh, in that word, on that word that uh, promise, no? yung, the word of God. I believe na ito yung ano natin, uh, refuge natin. Na wala na tayong ibang uh, ma ano ito, kumbaga eh, sa matatakbuan kung hindi manghawakan ka talaga sa kanyang mga salita, sa kanyang mga pangako. Na I believe na yung verse na yon it gives emphasis the importance of the word and then through the word of god where we anchor our hope no our hope is anchored to the word of god which the word of god give us strength and strengthen our faith no through hearing the word reading the word every day no uh, maging sa ating mga uh, pagtitipon uh, kagaya nito we are hearing the word encourages us, edify us, strengthen us, and yung Friday natin, yung mga discipleship, no? hoping sana yung mga iba, if they knew the importance of the word, hindi lang yung pagkain, hindi lang yung uh, ano yung mga iniisip natin na, na we miss that meeting, pero ang pinakamalaga doon talagang sumesentro sa lahat ng ating uh, mga pagtitipon, even the sunday the special day for every believers no the the word of god is being uh uh preached or uh ito'y pinapangaral sa pulpito na ito'y nagbibigay din ng sa pangunguna ng mga mga pastor natin our lead pastor in uh, feeding the flock and i believe if you will really hold on to the word of god anchor our faith or anchor our hope to the word of God. I believe na yung lahat ng mga dinadaanan natin, uh, kanya-kanya tayo mga, mga dinadaanan ng mga problema, mga challenges. Mm. Minsan nga, in reality, if we will fix, minsan talagang natatakot ka o ano na yung gagawin mo, kahit na believer ka, minsan napapaisip ka. Kaya siguro ang ano lang talaga, we must look no and to the word pay attention to it sabi nga sa Hebrews na oh, as if we are running the race so we must ni sabi niya sa Hebrews chapter 12 uh he is the author no? mm -hmm. the author and finisher of our faith so we must uh focus unto him so yun lang po siguro pastor dito ay binabanggit ng salita ng Panginoon na na dito ay uh, sinulat ni San Pedro no the apostle Peter na those prophetic word na is kung babasahin yung susunod na it is not only for private or personal interpretation only written by holy but is written by holy men of God inspired by the holy spirit so yes. the word are very important Yan po pa, sorry, yung ano ko lang. Take, uh, take away ko siguro dito. Mm. Yung pinigay ni Justin. Yeah. Nahalala ko lang, pastor, yung discipleship natin kagabi. Uh, every Tuesday kasi meron kaming discipleship and uh, development program para sa mga pastors. At the same time, business meeting na rin kung ano yung gagawin for the entire week. At uh, nagkakaroon kami ng uh, recap for the last week. And uh, may mga topics kami pinag-uusapan patungkol sa how to make disciples. And isa sa mga napag-usapan namin kagabi ay uh, kapansin-pansin na kapag uh, isang beses mo lang pinapakain ng flock mo ng salita ng Diyos tuwing linggo lang, nangyayari payatot yung mga, ano, yung mga tupa. Pero sa ginagawa natin sa tulong ng at kabay ng banal na spiritu ng Holy Spirit eh meron tayong Wednesday may devotional, may prayer time 
Meron tayong uh, Thursday uh, one-on-one, discipleship, two-on-two. So, iba-iba nangyayari pag Thursday. Uh, meron tayong uh, Tuesday sa mga pastor. Meron tayong Friday, discipleship clusters kung saan iba't ibang cluster or group. no Ang uh, nag- nagkikita-kita, may youth, merong men's, may women's. At uh, pinag-uusapan yung nakaraang sermon. Or kaya movie night, di ba? Pinag-uusapan yung movie, kung ano natutunan, ano mga takeaway, ano, ano mga TIP. Tapos meron pa tayo uh, minsan Sabado, para naman sa mga worship team, meron din silang devotion doon. Tapos may linggo, ay ngayon nga meron pang linggo ng hapon, kung saan we minister also to one another. So, may kita mo na halos araw-araw, uh, eh, pinubusog ng Panginoon ng ating mga uh, buhay spiritual. sa pamagitan ng salita niya. Ano, kaya nga may campaign tayo na 365 devotions no, in a year. Kukumpletuhin natin lahat. At yun ay binubuno na namin, ginagawa na natin at uh, hopefully ma- ma-launch natin someday no, para sabay-sabay tayo magde-devotion. So yun, yun yung nakikita natin pagpapahalaga sa salita ng Diyos agaya ng binanggit ni Pablo. Okay, ah uh, Sister Rose, ang tanong kasi ng iyong gwapong-gwapong anak, no? Eh since si Kristo naman ay uh, victorious na, no? At uh, yun nga may pagpapahalaga tayo sa salita ng Diyos, sa victory ni Kristo, no? Uh, knowing how God's story will end na si Jesus ay victorious. How does that affect the way you live today? Yan. Paano mo daw pinamumuhay ang buhay mo ngayon? Tanong ni Justin. Go ahead, si Saros. Ito yung verse pala natin. Ayan. Si Saros. Okay, baka may ginagawa si sister kasi kasama, sa labas siya, kasama niya yung kanyang uh, family. Anyway, so... Hello po. Ay, pasensya na po. Okay lang, uh, okay lang pati. Okay lang pati. Huminto lang po ako sa pag-drive. Anyway, uh, sa akin po, malaking bagay po na alam po natin na ang Panginoon sa ngayon ay talagang nasa victorious na rin po siya. Hmm. Dahil uh, malaking bagay din po na naririnig po natin ang salita ng Diyos. At uh, alam po natin na... Kahit pa po, papaano po ay nasa right path po tayo para maisama po niya tayo sa, sa pagiging victorious niya po. Amen. Dahil siya po ang ating Savior, siya po ang ating Misaya. Mm-hmm. Um, sa akin po pong pananaw at sa akin pong pamumuhay, malaki po ang epekto po nito. Na mm-hmm. alam po natin na siya po ang magdadala sa atin sa ka, sa Victory po natin. Kasi po ang pag ang victory po niya, victory po natin kung talaga po tayo ay magiging ipamumuhay po natin ang ang as a uh, good Christian po talaga. Amen. Ayun po. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung iba po kasi hindi po namumulat sa sa kanyang mga salita po. Mm-hmm. Malaking bagay po na meron po tayong gabay katulad po ng mga salita po ng Diyos sa Biblia. tayo na po ang bahalang sumunod. Kahit po yung iba naririnig, pero kung hindi po natin isa sa buhay din po, wala din po yun. Pero malaking uh, factor po na tayo rin po, gumagawa rin po tayo ng paraan. nag effort din po tayo. Hindi lang po ang um, simba Kasi po ang simbahan po, ang ating pong simbahan ay laging nandyan, ang salita po ng Diyos, laging available po sa tao. Uh-huh. Pero kung ang tao po ay hindi mismo ang lalapit or magsasabuhay nito, wala din po yun. Mm-hmm. Uh, yun po sa akin. Uh, malaking gabay po at hindi lang po dapat ang, ang Panginoon po ay lagi na sa atin pero ang tao po ang dapat po mag-effort. Tayo po ang dapat magpakain ng, ng, sa araw-araw po sa pamumuhay natin. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang po sapat ang sa, sa isang araw po sa, sa loob ng isang linggo na sisimba po tayo, magte-take, i-take po, po natin or take five. Mm-hmm. Kundi sa umaga pa lang po ng pagising, uh, importante po ang magpuri po sa kanya, magpasalamat po. Mm-hmm. Kahit po sa pagising mo pa lang po, yun po dapat na po ipagpasalamat. 
at isa buhay. Unti-unti po tayong hinuhubog ng Panginoon dahil hindi naman po tayo agad na uh, magiging uh, mature Christian po. Nag-uumpisa po tayo para pong bata na nag-uumpisa po as newborn. Mm-hmm. And unti-unti po tayong lalago sa pamamagitan po ng kanyang paggabay sa, sa, sa pagpapakain po niya ng salita ng Diyos sa atin. Yan po. Amen. Si Sir Rose sa tanong na ano, no? na how does that affect the way you live your life today? Na, na Naalala ko lang kasi na uh, base dun sa tanong na yun, when you declared, kasi no, na-bless talaga ako nun eh, when you declared yung bahay mo na Kumbaga, this is alcohol-free house, this is for Jesus Apo. only. That is something na, kumbaga para sa akin, eksaktong-eksakto doon sa sa tanong na how do you live no your life today? Uh, yung kumbaga, when you prioritize God above Apo. everything else, when you prioritize Totoo, totoo, totoo nga po yun. Uh, yeah. kung, ha- kung ikaw po ay handa po magtalikod sa mga bishop po, hmm. yun po, uh, sa mga masasamang gawain po, Ah, hmm. uh, ginigiba po natin minsan ng kaligayahan po na akala po natin ay eh, talagang yun na nakabibigay sa atin ng kaligayahan at satisfaction sa buhay. Hmm. Kasi marami po marami pong tukso palagi na ang tao po ay uh, hindi po nabubulagan po tayo. Madalas hmm. po tayo nabubulagan, hindi lang po sa sa material na bagay po, sa hmm. mga bisyo rin po. Ah, hmm. uh, yun po uh, talagang ma- mapapakita niyo po na na talagang pag tumalikod ka po sa Panginoon yung pong kaligayahan na maibibigay po noon na dati pong hinahanap niyo po sa ibang bagay hindi po mabibili yun ng kahit anong kaligayahan yung pong uh, ating Panginoon yung pong ang piniplis po natin ay ang ating Panginoon hindi po ang tao hindi po ang ating mga sarili hindi po ang ating mga kaibigan ang unang-una pong dapat natin i-please ay ang pang- all, only ang Panginoon lang po. Amen. Yun lang po. Amen. Amen. Kasi yun yung ano, eh, true essence of being born again. Yung turn, yung mga lives being turned at uh, pagtalikod mo mismo, no, 180 degrees sa kasalanan at uh, declaring. Ang naalala ko lang yung movie na pinanood natin, ano, yung War Room. Ang sabi niya, nung, nung, nung may scene doon na nagsisigaw siya, no, tapos tumabas pa siya ng bahay, pinapalayas niya si enemy. Sabi niya, I declare that this house is for Jesus. No? Parang ganun. So, yun kasi, it's a change of heart. Kung baga, binago talaga yung puso natin. Kung baga, it's, it's a good feeling. It's a good experience for us to cry out loud to God and ask for forgiveness, surrender, kneel down. All these things are great experiences. But after all the emotions being poured out, no, still, ang ibig sabihin pa rin ng totoong Uh, race to life no eh nagdecide tayo na talikuran yung maling ginagawa natin and that's how we should live our life today no uh, awaiting no yung uh, victory ni Jesus na nangyari na 2000 years ago kumbaga joining kumbaga enjoying uh, kumbaga uh, taking part doon sa joy ng victory ni Jesus Alright, maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. Napakaganda ng inyong mga sharing. Ano? At uh, tayo ay dadako na sa panalangin. Salamat Justin for a beautiful uh, devotional topic for tonight. So, uh, starting next month, okay, here are the devotional leaders. Uh, uh, sunod-sunod na to, no. May mga Wednesdays na hindi uh, na wala no? kasi maring canceled or whatever may nangyari or meron tayong maring uh, activity no so automatic yung next ang susunod so hindi ano kumbaga kung uh, canceled that night edi eh, hindi ka maghintay ka ng turn mode the, the following ano so alphabetical siya no at uh, please remind me kung meron pa akong na miss na mga pangalan uh, ilalagay natin dito so next Wednesday si Brother Aldrin, and then next, the, the following Wednesday, si Allison, then Anna Lou, CJ Faith, Fefe, Pot, Jairus, Janet, Jazel, Jasmine, Josie, Justine, Manny, Rachel. So, yan yung mga sumusunod. Maaari pa madagdagan yan, at uh, uh, every week naman, eh, i-update natin kung sino yung devotional leader the following 
Wednesday. So I'm very happy kasi you took the challenge no na to take part of leading the devotion hindi lang palaging pastor. Uh, ang goal namin ay hindi lagi magpakain kundi turu kundi turuan mag na kumain ang ating mga tupa. All right. So dumako tayo sa panalangin natin uh, ngayong gabi. Welcome po sa ating uh, upper room, no? Upper Zoom pala prayer gathering. Manalangin po tayo. Magsimula po tayo sa pagpupuri natin sa ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Dakila nga man namin sa langit, maraming 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 salamat po, Panginoon. Kinupuri ka namin, tinataas namin ang pangalan niyo. Kay Panginoon ang uh, hari ng mga hari, no? At uh, Dios ng mga Dios. Ah, uh, taos puso po kami nagpapasalamat uh, sa lahat po ng mga blessings no even sa mga trials na kung saan ginawa niyo kami victorious Panginoon. Ah, uh, mingi po kami ng kapatawaran Panginoon sa mga pagkukulang namin sa buhay, mga kasalanan na amin naisip na sabi at mga nagawa. Uh, if you need time, we will give you a pause, no, a time to pause for us to utter, you know, through our mind using our mind speak it out loud to the Lord ano yung bang nagawa mong mali mali mong naisip kasalanan na isip kasalanan ng nagawa o kasalanan ng sinabi o nabigkas mo at uh, kunin natin tong pagkakatao na to at ay mag post sandali para humingi ng tawad sa Panginoon Salamat Panginoon sa lahat po ng mga biyaya na binibigay niyo sa amin, na bigay niyo at uh, ibibigay niyo pa in the future Panginoon. Sa lahat ng mga answered prayers namin na dati, mga prayer items lang, ngayon ay answered prayers na lahat. Uh, maraming salamat Panginoon at uh, tinataas sa amin kayo ngayong gabi at humingi po kami Panginoon ng uh, pabor sa inyo sa mga susunod na panalangin. Tinataas sa aming Panginoon ang aming LA Philnaz attendees na mula number 14 hanggang 26 ang Anastasio family Panginoon. Dalangin namin Panginoon na dinggin niyo nawa Panginoon. Ang uh, iling ni Brother Aldrin na ipuin ang kanyang kapatid Panginoon upang magbalik at uh, mag-init ang puso para sa inyo. Sagipin niyo po ang kanilang buong pamilya, Panginoon, ang kanyang anak, ang kanyang asawa. Uh, sampu na kanilang mga buong pamilya at mga kaibigan, Panginoon. Uh, patuloy niyo pong gamitin ang pamilya na to sa paglilingkod sa inyo, Panginoon. Pagpalain niyo po sila. Uh, kami po, we join them, Panginoon, sa joy na kanilang mga natanggap na pagpapala mula sa bagong bahay hanggang sa mga, mga material na bagay at uh, mga bagong kaibigan at uh, simbahan, Panginoon, kung saan sila naglilingkod na naging blessing sila at uh, Uh, at uh, simbahan naman din ay nagiging blessing sa kanila, Panginoon. Ingatan niyo po sila sa kanilang pagpasok, sa trabaho, pag-uwi, pagbiyahe, Panginoon. Uh, ganun din si Jasmine, Panginoon. Uh, maging blessing siya sa kanyang workplace, kinabab. At uh, mag-ilaw po siya, Panginoon. Talangin namin, Panginoon, ang mga angeles, no si Sister Grace, uh, si Ivan. Uh, talangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, ingatan niyo po sila. Uh, palagi niyo po silang uh, kausapin Panginoon, yakapin Panginoon uh, patuloy niyo po silang palaguin sa kanilang buhay spiritual uh, salamat Panginoon, lagi namin nakasama si Sister Grace, Sister Bing sa every Sunday Panginoon uh, dati pinagpipray lang po namin ngayon lagi na po namin kasama uh, masayang masaya po kami sa pagpapala na to, pagpalain niyo po sila Panginoon tinataas namin sa inyo Panginoon ng mga Ascaraga, uh, si Nana Elena na makapagsimba po sa linggo Uh, na mga Panginoon, uh, mabigay niyo po Panginoon yung mga pangailangan niya, kagaya ng mga tungkod o ano paman, uh, hindi po siya mainitan o malamigan Panginoon at uh, maging magandang kanyang uh, pangangatawan palagi at uh, yung kanyang kondisyon Panginoon para makapiling namin muli siya Panginoon sa pagsisimba. 
Dalangin namin Panginoon na uh, ang mga askaraga may bisita ngayon Panginoon si Brother Noel mindiri magandang pakiramdam. Pagalingin niya po siya Panginoon. Salamat Panginoon dahil nakapasa na si Giselle sa kanyang finals Panginoon. Yata sa amin sa inyo si Sir Lenlen Panginoon uh, biuda siya Panginoon kayo po maging asawa niya Panginoon kayo po maging comfort niya Panginoon sa araw-araw na kailangan niya ng kausap at uh, kailangan niya ng uh, uh, magko-comfort sa kanya Panginoon uh, kayo po ang dakilang ama namin sa langit ipuin niyo palagi ang kanyang puso ingatan niyo siya Panginoon sa pagsakay-sakay sa bus uh, salamat Panginoon uh, niligtas niyo siya doon sa problema doon sa workplace nila Panginoon at uh, ganun din yung pag, uh, pag uh, sarado ng um, elevator Panginoon niligtas niya rin siya Panginoon salamat Panginoon sa bugayong family Uh, sa paggamit kay John, Panginoon, sa pag-spread ng gospel, sa so, magkita ng uh, Uber at uh, uh, multimedia. Ganyan din, Panginoon, sa paggamit kay Mavi, sa aming Sinag Kids Ministry. Napakalaking blessing po niya, Panginoon. Pagpalaan niyo po, Panginoon, si Santeo, kayo hindi ng bago nilang anak, Panginoon, na nasa sinapupunan ni, Avi, ni, ni Mavi. Uh, ingatan niyo po ang pagbubuntis ni Mavi, Panginoon. Uh, lahat po ng biyaya, ibuos niyo po sa kanila. Uh, lahat po na pangailangan nila, ibigay eh, niyo po, gamitin niyo po ang lahat ng tao simbahan para po maging pagpapala sa kanila, Panginoon. Uh, maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa Los Angeles First Church of the Nazarene uh, Campus, Panginoon, kung saan matatagpuan ang English, Filipino, Korean, and Spanish uh, congregations na, na dalangin namin ang patuloy na pagkakaisa, patuloy, Panginoon, na uh, 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 paggamit sa amin sa dakong yon ng Los Angeles. Uh, CJ, kindly lead us to, uh, to pray for the Church of the Nazarene. Thank you. Lord, maraming salamat po sa gabing ito, Lord. At kama-sama po kami na nalangin po sa inyo. Lord, we lift up to you the following people. First po sa General Superintendent, si Duarte, Gavis, Busek, Tucker, Chambo, and Sandberg. Also pray for the district superintendent, Pastor Greg Garman. And we pray for the board, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bong, Tita Gurley, at the region, and Tita LV. We would also like to pray for the fitness pastors, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Robert, Pastor Bong, Pastor Rave, and Pastor Ted. Also pray for the English pastors, Pastor Joshua Tigilan, Michael Mata, Dan Bayer, Pedro Torres, Angela Way. Also for Spanish congregation, Pastor Juan Fajardo, Nina Fajardo, and Gladys Rosales. And for South Korean Pastor Chia Sun Lee. For South Korean Pastor Jong Wan Lee, Hailey. And also pray for the MCB staff, Star Curtis Snake. And also pray for Citizens of the World Charter School, Silver Lake. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful people. We thank you, Lord, for uh, using them, Lord, uh, to serve you and to be able to share uh, the good news to and to all the people. And we, uh, we continue to pray for their protection, Lord. May they be protected against sickness, Lord. And may you continue to, uh, uh, to provide for them, Lord, for all their needs and their everyday needs. We pray also, Lord, that um, you would uh, give them the strength, the strength every day. To um um to serve you, Lord, and we all know that um everything that we do is for for your glory, Lord, and we could we pray that they will be able to reach out to more people, Lord, so that they will know know you better, know, know you, Lord, and we also pray that um they would continue to lead the church as as a pastor. They they will they will be your representative, Lord, that you would um that they would see you in them that to lead the church and uh, to continue to guide the church to 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 be um, for, for for your glory Lord. Like, we pray in this name. Thank you CJ. Amen. For complete healing, uh, provisions, comfort, peace and other concerns uh Sister Annelu kindly lead us. Thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for gathering us tonight, Lord, to to glorify your name, Lord, and to worship you and to thank you, Lord, for all the blessings. And uh, tonight, Lord, we pray for the following uh, individuals, Lord, for complete healing. We pray, Lord, for Sister LV, for Jirel, Tita Vilma, 
Sister Fe, Sister Faith, Stephen, Nathan, for uh, their cough, fever, and uh, runny nose, Lord. Uh, we pray, Lord, that you provide to them and that you give them the right medication that will heal them, Lord. And uh, we pray for Judith Schwartz uh, for her injury. She cannot walk uh, and uh, with infection, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you just um, heal her, Lord, from all of this. We pray for Sister Mini uh, for her over fatigue. We pray, Lord, that uh, may your comfort be upon her and may you give her peace, Lord, um, uh, during this time. We pray for uh, Tita May, Lord, for her neck problem. Uh, we pray, Lord, that you just find uh, that you heal her and you find and you give her the right medication, Lord. We uh, pray for uh, Brother Ives, uh, his pain and his hand. May you just continue to heal him, Lord, um, with with the, the discomfort in his hand. We pray for Lou Angeles, mass on her intestine. Uh, we pray that this uh, will, uh, the results will be negative, Lord, and that she will be okay. Uh, we pray for Jasmine Angeles, healing from uh, skin disease, Lord. Uh, we pray, Lord, that um, you just find a cure uh, and uh, comfort her during this time, Lord. We pray for Joey Angeles, uh, healing from arthritis. So we know, Lord, that this could be painful and discomforting. And we pray, Lord, that you just um, help her, uh, help him, Lord, uh, with his arthritis, Lord, and then find him the right uh, cream or medication for this. And Lord, I pray for, for my uh, surgery, for my vein. I pray, Lord, that uh, you just... Um, uh, touch the hearts of the doctor, of the insurance agent. And I pray, Lord, that this will be fully covered by my insurance and that uh, I can have my surgery done soon. And I pray for Diana Santiago for uh, her Parkinson and therapy movement. I pray, Lord, that, um, that uh, this will be a good... Um, turnout for her Parkinson's Lord the therapy will be a good turnout for her Parkinson's Lord and uh, and uh, may you just also comfort her during this time we pray for Kaiser so uh, her diabetes kidney high blood pressure and dialysis Lord uh, we pray for uh, the right medication Lord that will control uh, all of this, Lord, and that will um, help her, Lord, uh, to to live a comfortable life. And we pray for Nana Iseni for her cataract surgery, Lord. Uh, we just pray that um, you uh, be uh, your presence will be uh, with her, and that you will be with the surgeons and everyone in that room during this procedure. Lord, and uh, we pray for Pastor Jeff's colonoscopy on June 23rd. And uh, we pray, Lord, that uh, this will be successful and with positive result. And we pray for his right knee, left heel, and the pain on his left hand, Lord. We pray, Lord, uh, that you will remove this pain and the discomfort, Lord, that he's feeling. And now uh, we pray, Lord, that you remove this and just um, and just make him feel well again, Lord. We pray for Brielle's skin outbreak, Lord. We know this can be really discomforting, but we pray, Lord, that you just um, give Brielle and that she will find the right cream for her skin outbreak, Lord, and that um, may she live a, um, a comfortable uh just uh, her day-to-day, -day, Lord. We pray for Pastor Bert's right leg surgery on May 26th. It's coming up, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you just give Pastor Bert the comfort. May you be with him, Lord, and with the surgeons, the doctors, and everyone, Lord, in that room. And and uh, may you be there and, and help 
all of them with this procedure. We pray for Tatay Mayo Lord for his heart valve procedure coming up. Lord, same thing for him, Lord. Uh, uh, be with him and Nane Mayo and the rest of the family, Lord, and uh, give all of them comfort and peace and uh, guide the surgeons, Lord, during this procedure. We pray for Leonila Villaflor, her enlarged heart. We pray for um, uh, that you provide the right medication that will take effect and uh, heal her, Lord. Bob D. Giacomo's dementia, Lord. Um, may the process just uh, be slow and um, just help him, Lord, live a happy life. Uh, we pray for Leonila Lopez, or orbital lymphoma, Lord. Uh, we pray, Lord, that uh, you uh, comfort her, you, you give her the right treatment, Lord, and that you heal her from this. And uh, we pray for Patrick Noel, Lord, that he may be able to walk again, Lord. Touch the doctors, therapists, and um, and uh, help him, Lord, to believe that he will be able to walk again. We praise you and thank you, Lord, for the answered prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Anilu. For complete healing from cancer, uh, Kuya Mani, kindly lead us. Thank you. Um, Heavenly Father, we lift up to you po ang, ang, uh, uh, this, the following po for uh, healing po from the cancer. I pray, Lord, for Beatrice Solis po sa, uh, na meron po siyang breast uh, cancer, meron siyang aneurysm, kay Elsa Rimbondo for the lymph node, kipis oy, tes oy, ng ovarian uh, cancer, kay Odette Perez, uh, needed for the radiation, and Noah Di Guzman for bone, bone cancer, uh, Federico Conception for the prostate or bone cancer, kay Roxanne Wong for ovarian cyst or cancer, um, kay Julieta Francisco Abuso, kay Ele Heradora, Yes, Father God, we pray for this following people po na ikaw po sana po ulit po ang mag-touch po sa kanilang life. Um, we know, Lord, that you are a great healer. Um, you are the provider of health. So we pray, Father God, for your hand, for your anointing to come upon these people, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, um, we ask for your miracle working hand na uh, uh, hipuin po ang mga uh, systems, mga organs po na ito po, Lord Jesus. We just want to thank you, Lord God, that you are our God, you are our healing God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Kuya Mani. For personal supplication, uh, Sister Janet, kindly lead us for special favor and request. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we ask you, Lord, for your special favor and request upon these brothers and sisters, Father God, that we are lifting to you tonight. Lord, we pray for Allison that there will be a smooth meeting with the school insurance regarding her car. We pray for the Raimundos, God, for their new home. We pray for Kuya James, for his paperwork, so Lord, to be done as soon as time possible. Lord, we pray for the final examinations of the Alafilna students. That you will give them, Lord, wisdom, understanding, and strength. And may they be motivated, O oh God, to just really give the best that they can for these final examinations. We pray for Tep Tep, for CJ, for their new job opportunities. And even we pray, God, that you will boost their self-confidence. Indeed, O oh God, that their confidence is in you, Father. Lord, we pray for AJ, for our son-in-law, for his upcoming board examination. Father, just pray that you will give him, God, the strength, give him, Lord, the wisdom, and help him, oh God, to remember all the things that he have studied and he have read. Lord, we even lift up to you, Lord, Sister Darren, 
for the serious examination. Panginoon, marami salamat po that indeed you're going to open new doors in career for Sister Darren, oh God. You will give her victory. You will give him, Lord, the strength indeed to be successful in this examination. We pray for Reg as well, for good health, and we pray that he will help her, oh God, to gain weight. We pray for Daniel for his green card, the processing of uh, his green card, Panginoon, na ma maayos ito, Lord God, as soon as time possible. We pray again for Dito Sahabon for the retirement and her place near LA. Lord, we pray for your mighty provision, O God, to come for our um, brother Dito Sahabon. We pray for uh, Lauren for continuous improvement. Father, continue, O God, to just touch her heart and to change her heart. To know you more, Panginoon, makilala ka niya, Panginoon, who you are in her life. We especially pray for Mavi for her pregnancy. Lord, from the, from, mula sa simula hanggang sa matapos yung pregnancy niya, Panginoon, pray po ang uh, patuloy na sumama sa kanya. We pray for a healthy baby and uh, safe delivery, Lord God, for Mavi. We pray for Derek for his DMV test, Lord. We pray that you will give him more the strength, give him more the, the courage, really, to just uh, really overcome whatever is uh, in there. Na hindi po maganda. I just pray. We pray, Lord, that you will give him victory to pass this DMV test. Lord, we pray for Joshua. Lord, we pray for his documents. We pray for a job and even a place where he could be comfortable. And he will, there will be a place for, for him to, to stay Panginoon. We pray for Job. We pray, Lord, that he will grow mature in Christ. We pray that you will uh, direct his life, Panginoon. Panginoon, maraming salamat for all this special favor and request. We pray that you will, O oh Lord God, continue to bless each and every one that had been mentioned and man panginoon hindi pa po naman nasabi sa mga pangangailangan ng mga kapatid na ito we pray god that you will continue to sustain them we pray oh lord that you will continue oh god to help them grow in each and every day the mighty provision to come in their lives as well the blood of jesus to cover them and we declare that no weapon from against them shall prosper in jesus name amen amen thank you sister janet for connecting events, uh, evangelism, discipleship, missions, uh, Justine, kindly lead us. Thank you. Lord, we, uh, we lift up these connecting events, evangelism, discipleship, and missions to you, Lord. We lift up to you, Lord, the General Assembly in Indiana on June 8th to 16, the Father's Day connecting event on June 18, family retreat on June 30 to July 2 in San Bernardino, and the kids' VBS on July 29, Saturday. Lord, uh, we pray that these events will be successful, that you would be the center of it all, and uh, for events like the camp and the VBS, Lord, I pray that you would keep uh, all of the attendees safe, uh, the, the people involved in the event, that you would all keep them safe. And Lord, we pray that, uh, uh, that you would use us, Lord, in these, um, in these connecting events uh, to win more souls for your kingdom. We pray, Lord, that um, uh, that you would give us wisdom when when we carry them out. We thank you, Lord. Uh, bless bless these events, Lord. Uh, we praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank you, Justine, for our uh, popcorn prayer. Uh, for other supplications that was not mentioned. Or anything that uh, you're being led by the Holy Spirit to pray for. Anyone can uh, start to pray now. Lord, I pray for uh, Mark's sister in the Philippines. 
um, as she's sick with the flu and her children, Lord, we pray for covering, uh, for healing, Lord, upon them. And uh, we pray, Lord, that uh, for victory and a successful and and, and a favor to be upon them, Lord, for that uh, case that um, that they have filed, Lord. Uh, we pray for your protection and to be upon all of them, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Lord, we pray for even those uh, brothers and sisters whom we have not seen last Sunday. We remember them, O oh God, in our prayers, whatever they are going through right now. Lord, especially pray for Susan, for our and others, Carla. Lord, we, we lift them up to you, Father God, that you will bring them back, O oh God, to join, to, join, to join us, Lord, in, in our Sunday services. We lift them up to you, Lord. And whatever needs they have, Lord, we're going to meet their needs. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Ayun ang tinataas namin lahat ng aming mga anak, mga bata sa La Filnas, mga anak ng mga members. Kalangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, you continue to reveal yourself, Panginoon, sa buhay ng mga anak namin. Kalangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, wag po silang maligaw ng landas. Kalangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, Uh, hanapin nila ang puso niyo, Panginoon. Uh, they may goal for Christ-likeness as always. Uh, lumago sila, Panginoon, sa pananampalataya sa inyo. Now ay uh, maging better next generation sila kumpara sa amin. Alangin namin na ingatan niyo sila palagi. Huwag niyo pong hayaan na kung ano man na nakalagay na sa inyong kamay ay uh, mapabaya ang makawala, Panginoon. Yan po inyong pangako. Panginoon, you will not allow anybody to snatch away, Panginoon, sa kamay nyo ang mga tao na tumanggap sa inyo, Panginoon. Kaya hindi, Panginoon, sa mga kamag-anak at kaibigan namin na hindi pa tumatanggap sa inyo, Panginoon. Bigyan niyo po sila ng maraming pagkakataon na makilala ka. Magpadal po kayo ng mga tao o sitwasyon para mas maging evident kay sa buhay nila, Panginoon. Naway, bago kayo bumalik, Panginoon, yung mga pagkakataon na to ay Uh, naging kaganapan sa buhay nila, Panginoon, at uh, naway tanggapin nila kayo, Panginoon, ng uh, buk uh, bukal sa kanilang kalaoban. We pray for our children. Bless our children, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat po sa gabi ko ito. Panginoon, itinataas ko po sa iyo, Panginoon, ang aking ama, dahil ikaw po, Panginoon, ang dakilang ama namin. Panginoon, nagtitiwala po kami sa iyo, Panginoon, na ikaw po ang aming healer. Ikaw po ang miraculous God namin. Panginoon, bigyan mo po ng gabay, Panginoon, ang mga doktor at mga nurses na gagawa ng procedure sa akin. Panginoon, Amen. bigyan mo po siya ng kalakasan ng loob, Panginoon. Amen. Bigyan mo rin po kami ng kalakasan ng loob para harapin ang pinagdadaanan ng ating pamilya, Panginoon. Amen. Nagtitiwala po ako sa iyo, Panginoon. Wala po kami ibang pagkakatiwalaan sa aming buhay, Panginoon, kundi ikaw, aming Diyos. Salamat po, Panginoon. Mahal ka po namin. Pinupuri ka po namin. Ibinabalik po namin. Lahat ng pagpuri sa iyo, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, Amen. For closing prayer and benediction, Pastor Bert, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Aming salamat po, aming Diyos, aming Ama, sa gabing ito, sa lahat po na aming uh, tinaas sa inyo, Panginoon. At sa aming pamamay nga, Panginoon, ng aming mga katawan sa gabing ito, hayaan mo, Panginoon, ng iyong pagpapala ay iyong igaw sa inyong mga anak, Panginoon. The Lord bless you and keep you 
The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bert. Salamat sa inyong lahat. Alinat magsama-samang magpicture-picture. <laughs> Buksan ng mga bintana. Hi, Mark. Pogi-pogi. Kahit talo ang Lakers. <laughs> Ayun. Alright, alright, alright. So, Aya na, Aya. Justin, ang yung ano, Bintana. Ayan. Tingnan natin si Ate Janet. Yeah. All right. There you go. Sandali lang. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Alright. Ayan. Buksan niya yung bintana niya, Ate Janet. Ay, <laughs> ay. <laughs> Ayan, nakita na kayo. Iyon. Okay. One, two, three, and smile. There you go. God bless you guys. Pagaling ka, Tita Pepot. Good night. Good night. Hi, Tita Fe. Ingat ka dyan, Joshua. Um, yeah, we're praying for Daddy Ismael. Uh, bukas Salamat po dyan. sa inyo. Amen, Salamat amen. Po. Bye, ingat. See you Friday.